So hello, it's Daddy Gamer here again. Now then, this week I've got another Minecraft video for you, but this time one of my fans has written in. Uh, he's actually drawn a picture of what he would like me to create in Minecraft, which I think is really cool. And this is it. It's a boat and a, a house and a sun. So what I'm going to do in Minecraft is I'm going to try and recreate this in 3D. Um, let's begin. So first of all, let's have a look at where we are. Now we've got ourselves a, a beach. So it's a beach made out of blocks, which I found, uh, which I thought was quite a cool place to start. Now if you go forward like this, I'll just fly up into the air because I'm in creative. Now if you fall, go forward, go into the air, turn around, and you can see that it's made of basically lumps of islands, shall we say, and trees everywhere. So what we need to do is fly along this river or go into the river. I've just, I think I'm drowning now. I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm, I'm not exactly a pro at this, but press a few buttons. Right, I've jumped out. I hope I didn't drown there. I don't think I did drown. So I know that if you press twice forward, you go fast. And then what we're trying to find is somewhere flat to make um, the, the base. And rem remember, this is going to be the base which is a house, a boat, oh, and a, a road as well between them. So any minute, ah, now this this looks good. So if this area here may be, ah, what have we got here? Some dogs? Oh, I think I'll just uh, hit one with, um, I've got a block in my, I think it's a magma block. I'll just hit one and see if it becomes my friend. Come on, doggy. Oh, I think they're looking at me. I'm a bit scared. A bit scared of them, actually. I think that's a beach tree. I'm going to get away before they attack me because I don't think they're very friendly. Now, if we keep going over here, over these trees, we might be able to find ourselves somewhere flat. That's all I want, somewhere flat. As soon as I find somewhere flat, I'll be able to build this house sent in by William. And okay, so let's do this. We've got beds, helmets, planks, decorative purple blocks, stairs, everything. Fran, smooth stone sounds good, doesn't it? Now, if we could view some too smooth top, oh, terracotta. Now, that's what I'll use. I'll use terracotta. I think I use terracotta for the brickwork. And I don't know if there are bricks in Minecraft. There probably, is, there probably are bricks in Minecraft, but I don't know where they are. So if we do that, I think this will be fun. Right, let's get going. So we'll, do, we'll put a, a row, a base foundation of bricks down made out of terracotta. They look kind of like bricks. And we'll try and recreate this. I might change the design slightly um, to turn it into something maybe a door at the bottom and I'm gonna put I will put two windows just like the design because I, I want to be true to the design as, as best I can and I'll try and do that within a few minutes maybe 10 minutes we'll get this done now if we and we need to we need some window panes or something like that I don't know what window panes look like exactly but I'll do my best to try and find them for you and um, we'll put a lintel in at the top of the window I think I just made a mistake there to smash that Right, pull out the, the lintel right, goes right across the top. So we'll make this nice and flashy. We'll make this a three-dimensional house. I don't know if I'm gonna put a, a sofa in there. I don't know if I'll have time or a plant pot out the front. Maybe a kitchen in there, some stairs up to the top, which would be, look really cool, make it 3D. Um, and hopefully I've, I've made enough space now for some doors. Now, where are the doors? Helmets are not gonna work as doors, are they? Um, maybe are they in here? Nether warts? What, that, what are nether warts? If anybody knows what nether warts are, you could like, sorry, you could sub, uh, make a comment below, tell me what nether warts are because I have no idea. Now then, ah, here we are near the jungle doors. So yeah, jungle doors, we'll throw some jungle doors in. If we put two jungle doors in, we'll be able to open them. I'm, I presume we'll be able to open and close them and put the panes of glass at the top so it looks like a real house. It looks like a three-dimensional real house with panes of glass. You can see the reflection on there. Looks very good. There's another pane of glass going in there, another one, another one. I'm being quite accurate today, which I'm happy about. So that's pretty much the face of the house. I think it's... So we're not far off. Now then. So the next thing to do, we need to um, create the, the roof. So I've chosen some blocks. There's some grey blocks. I think they're looking great. And at the sides, the best thing to do, I think, is to select some stairs. Because the stairs will look like it's sloping up to the top. Right, go right across. And I think... We've got a bit of problem here, it's going dark. Now, I'm not much of an expert in Minecraft, so when it goes dark, I'm not exactly sure what to do. So I'm, I'm just bear with me. If it goes too dark and you can't see what I'm doing, um, I'll try and press a few buttons, and with any luck, I'll be able to find my way back into the light, okay? I think there is a setting in there that allows you to uh, choose a, a daytime always. Um, so if, if that's the case, then I'll, I'll click that. 
but in the meantime we'll just stick a few polished andesite stairs on there so um i'll just place place up there and oh it's getting a bit dark now it is getting a bit dark uh, i think we'll be able to walk up the side of our house and onto the top and if we're lucky we might be able to catch some birds because birds are often found at the top of houses aren't they so just get that last bit in there now look back at the, oh what that now looks very similar to William's drawing, doesn't it? I think, you, I think you're, um, you'll agree. But what we need to do now is make a path, of course. So we put a path through. So we'll just knock a few of these sand blocks out um, and, and place a few more polished andesites down. They're very easy to find. They're in your inventory. In fact, there's, uh, I think there's an infinite number of polished andesite blocks. If you go in your inventory and in uh, survive, uh, creative not survival in survival you have to kind of go and find them you have to mine them which is a, a bit of a chore but um, it, it's it can be very satisfying to do that but wh whilst you're wor working in uh, creative you can have as many polished andesite blocks as you want you can make this path you can just push the path all the way to the edge of the to the edge of the the shore there and let's stick this out so we, what we're going to make is a little bit of a jetty so we stick a few uh, andesite blocks out there we'll make a bit of a jetty i think we'll make it a little bit wider there we go um maybe four four by well, i don't know six or something like that let's bring this out and we'll, we'll make it across at the top of the wall so it's very so it's a realistic jetty so, and what we're going to do at the end of the jetty is going to make a boat and we hope i hope the boat doesn't sink um but we'll we'll do that in a minute uh because we'll, we've got to Remember, we're trying to recreate this uh, picture which has been sent in by William. Um, and I think uh, his brother helped him, Oliver, as well, with that picture. Um, we're going to try and recreate that in Minecraft, as you can see. So what I've had to do here is go underwater for a minute because there's nothing to uh, latch onto. I don't know what to latch onto. I don't know where to put the blocks. So I've gone underwater. I'm, what am I looking for now? Some uh, enchanted books. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to help me. Uh, but we'll go in the settings for a minute and see if we can find out how to create a, a day, daylight world. I mean, it'd be great if the, the whole thing's in daylight the whole time rather than darkness because I think, I think darkness is going to be very hard to see online. I don't think anyone's going to watch this video if it's in darkness. Aha, we've done it, I think. Is that, is that well, daytime? Yes, now we're in daytime. Uh, I think we're under the water though. What's that swimming underneath there? Is that a pike? I might go and catch that for my tea later on. I'm packed. That's not a bad idea. I'm quite hungry. So you can see I've created crazy. We're not. We can't really see that. Pretend you can't see that under the water. So that's a, a kind of what, what would you call that? Like um, it's a stand of sorts. So on the stand, we will now create a really detailed uh, boat, and hopefully the boat will sail. I'm not sure if you can sail boats in Minecraft, but I'm guessing if I design the boat off the edge of the jetty like that. And then break a block, it'll just sink in. Well, not sink into the water, it'll float on the water, displacing the water slightly. And I'll be able to get in there, Captain Hook style, and go for a go for a sail across the seven seas, which would be great. And we could maybe catch some of them pikes later if we took our fishing rod. But I'm guessing I have to make a fishing rod. But in the meantime, I'll use these ter terracotta blocks to make a mast. So the mast can go straight up like that. Hee <laughs> hee! That was good, doesn't it? And again, I, what I'll use is these uh, polished andesite stairs, steps, I think the stairs, oh, I've got that one upside down. You've got to be careful you don't get them upside down. Click that underneath. Smooth stone, this is just, these are building blocks. You can't just place blocks anywhere um, you like. You have to place them in a specific, uh, you have to place them stuck to another block, otherwise they, they just won't, um, they won't form. They won't fall down, they won't form, which, um, means that you've got to always stick them to another block and that's what we'll do here so we'll get some polished andesite polished andesite um build that that's a mistake there we don't want a mistake now that looks like a sail i think it's looking quite good but you know what we've got one sail on this pit uh, on this boat here but I'm, i've got an idea we're going to make two two sails one on either side i'm not sure if that's a sail a little sail but what i'll do is i'll I'll keep building, I'll build out a similar sort of style to the other side, uh, put some stairs in there, make them come out at the bottom, put some andesite stone. Um, it's getting quite technical now, this is a very technical uh, design, it's getting, it's a bit, it's getting difficult but I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay, I've not made too many mistakes, I've not had to break too many blocks, so I'll just continue and there we, 
we're not too far off. I think that's looking good. Don't you? Do you think that looks good? I think if you, if you think this looks good, comment below. Uh, I'd love to see what you, th you think of my design. So that's the stair. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have time to put the, the uh, a table in, but I, I'm, I might try and find a table, a sponge, a sponge table. Perfect. We can sit on it, jump around. It's a, um, a bit, of a, bit a little bit of fun there. And we'll just try and find something else but no I think if you like this video like and subscribe make a comment down below tell me how I'm doing I know I'm, I'm I maybe I'm, I'm get I'm very technical I'm, I'm ahead of myself here with these designs I know they are very difficult to follow but yeah 